Okay, Coach Reader. So uh, we are going to have a hostile environment, to say the That's least, good. tonight. Yep. Are you excited? Can't wait. Can't wait. Coach Hill did a great job uh, advertising this, this duel and, and pumping it up, and we're, we're fired up. It's standing room only. There's there's people in there ready for this to go, and we're an hour away. We're not even in like, the way they're over now. Away, right? We're weighed in, and there's people in there ready to go. So, so they're saying, okay, capacity's 900. Yep. He's saying there's going to be between 900 and 1,000. Good yeah, talking to Coach awesome. Mulligan. It's and Mulligan's awesome. kid, his kid's in the lineup. Yes, sir. Yep. Right? Pretty tough kid. Yep. PA state champ two times. Um, so you guys, you know, the, last night you went 9-1 against Buffalo. Mm-hmm. You got the first t- takedown in every match, but 84, which there was no takedown, and 97, right? You got the first takedown in eight of the ten matches. How important is that going out and controlling talent? I just think that's what we pride ourselves. The hustle, effort, and attitude is all we preach. And, um, and just bring the fight. That's, that's kind of what we, we tell our guys. You know, uh, our message last night is, what's your identity? Our identity is hustle, effort, and attitude. Go, go, let it, go let it show when you're wrestling. Go get that first takedown. Bring the fight to them. And uh, They did a good job of doing it. All right, you guys go out there, out to San Diego the week before. Travel, that's something I've been, I talk to you guys about. doesn't sound like the travel has really affected you it guys that much. It was a great trip. We were out in San Diego. We got back Saturday uh, midday. Uh, we had, to, had the rest of the weekend, and we came out here Wednesday. When you look at that, you know, that's that's really preparing people for life, what you guys are doing right now. Yep. If someone runs a business or they're in corporate America, they're going to travel like this. Mm-hmm. But you're putting another, you're putting more layers on top of it. No, it's great. And it, I, I think we, we designed our schedule a little bit like this in the, in the month of November, into de- December. Um, we're on the road. We're on the road the first four or five weeks of the, of the season. But we do it, and the team gets really close. And I think we've gotten more close in the last two weeks than we have in the last six six months so um we love being on the road our guys love being on the road we love we love competing on the road we tell our guys you're going to win a national championship on the road you're not winning at home okay you're not winning a national title at, at home in madison it's going to be on the road somewhere this year it's in, in minneapolis right so you got to learn to compete on the road you know you look at um you got three guys right now that I wouldn't surprise me if they're on the top of the podium in march absolutely right like obviously absolutely. then you got some outliers right mm-hmm. but if you look at hilker Hilger can win heavyweight. He's an animal. I don't think I'm He's crazy. An animal. Right? No, I agree. Right? And then obviously 65. You can win mm-hmm. at 65. Wick can yep. win at 65. And then you already got have a guy who won a national title for you at South Dakota State. Mm-hmm. Followed you guys over here. But we love our guys. We love all ten of our guys. Uh, we wouldn't trade a single one of them. They're all ready to fight. And uh, like you said, we got we got a bunch of horses and a lot of guys that can do some special things. So Moran ran a 12 or last year, yep. right? Yep. Well, how do you get those other guys? How do you get these other guys? How do you get? How do you get them to, to get on the cusp, but get in there, get in that top eight? And, and, and team trophy, ultimately, is the goal. A lot of people, Absolutely. three years, team trophy, that's crazy. Right? Two years, team trophy, years, that's crazy, course, right? Yep. People think that's crazy. It can happen this year. Absolutely. What do you got to do to get the Just other consistency. guys? Consistency. Each time we're going out, we're trying to perfect uh, our performance and, and, and making that each way in, each time you're on the mat, a little bit better. Um, and that's what we're doing right now and, and making sure these guys are ready for March. Because ultimately, like you said, come March, that's, that's what counts. Okay, so is Coach Reader still scrapping a lot? Every day, man. You're Every nuts. day. Every You're day. nuts. Every day. You healthy? You feel good? Super healthy. Yeah? Yep. Are you, like, smaller than when you competed? I am. I actually walk around at 174 now. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yep. You won the NCAA title at 174. Yeah, at 74. You probably had a good cut. And had a good cut. All right. Hey, so. do, you, do you got anything else for me before this no, madness? No, man. We're, we're fired up. We're, 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 uh, we're excited to be in PA. We love PA, and uh, you can see it right now in, in the gym. These guys are fired up, so we're excited. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys. I appreciate it. Thank